Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is going to be a review of the optical mouse sensor on the GPD Pocket 2. Right now you can see the little optical sensor firing off looking for any type of input and what happens when we mouse over it, or put our finger over it, kind of just engages and gets ready to view a lot of different things. Now there are some interesting caveats to this type of technology. Number one, for those that are not aware, uh, originally GPD was not having an, a mouse input of any sort on the Pocket 2. It was all supposed to be touch input uh, entirely. Due to a lot of backlash, GPD went ahead and input this nub in at the 11th hour. Now, generally speaking, GPD has a poor track record of putting things in the, in the 11th hour and having them not work out as planned. In this particular instance, things are working out amazingly well. Number one, I am super impressed by this technology. Uh, so it does offer a lot of conveniences and benefits over just a, a nub itself. So a nub that is like on the pocket itself, while you can move this around and it feels physical, this still works at much like a touchpad. So what you can do is you can just tap in this area. You don't have to do a full button click. Well, let me go down here. So here is a full button click, just so you can hear it. So you can fully click it to do a left click, or you can just tap it to do a left click. Now, one of the things is, is because this little sensor is constantly firing off, the problem comes in in that if you're not uh, very, very accurate with your your click, your your tap, is that it can the sensor can sometimes indicate that you're moving instead of trying to tap. So it is pretty fast, but not fast enough. From what I have tested it at using some tools, um, this is pulling at 120 hertz, uh, eight milliseconds. So not tremendously fast, but fast enough. But there are, when you just do light clicks, it's not 100% accurate because sometimes you can see that I'm just tapping and then there will be like a little bit of movement on the arrow key itself. Having said that doing a full click is 100% accurate all the time, but I do like having the ability to just lightly tap things to um, instantiate a, a, a left click. So let's go ahead and just start up this little mouse cursor test. Oh, I definitely clicked that. Whoop. Can I get it? Can I get it? No. Alrighty. I don't know how many I got. You click seven targets, you misclick six times. That's poor. Let's try this again. Let's just try without clicking fully down. Hoop. 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 Get it. Go. Oh. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right, so you click 10 targets, you misclick one time. That was a pretty decent result. Um, and it works surprisingly well. Now, I, what I like about it is that while I'm typing and I can just kind of mouse, uh, use my, I tend to use my middle index finger to kind of just move around and click. Now, one of the things that I do like about this is because it also operates as a left click itself. One of the things that you can do that I've done is if you go into the mouse settings, you can go ahead and just turn on click lock. And what that allows you to do is we can go ahead and just kind of click over here. And I have the settings set to kind of slow. So if we just hold down. I'm going to press one, two. Now we've gone ahead and we've locked that to this. So that you don't have to like hold it down and move around. It's just now just I, I just touched the sensor, so which unlocked it. Now what what is a benefit of that is if we go here, right, and we have this. So what if I do this one, two, now it's locked. Now I can just kind of bring it over to the side like that. And now I can have this split page view. It's really, really nice. And it kind of functions very well in terms of with just a nub itself, you wouldn't be able to left click. So be, having the left click there is a huge, huge feature as well as having pretty decent accuracy and feel. The other nicety of this 11th hour change that GPD put in is the position they put it in, as opposed to being down here, being up here, it is quite serviceable. So give me one second while I go ahead and reorient this camera. All right, that'll be a bit better. Now, if we're in here, you can see I'm just kind of thumbing around. Can you see that mouse? 
Where is my mouse pointer? Oh, the mouse pointer's right there. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. All right, so now if we just go up here and we close. And you know what? Let me leave this open because one thing that I want to talk about, one thing that I really wish was here, um, while it does work excellently in uh, dual-handed or handheld position, because now you have left click over here and right click here, which is very nice and convenient. It's not the best for single-handed use over here because now you have to kind of, you know, press with two fingers over here. Not, it's more a habit that you'll have to learn to press over here. Whereas just using my right index finger felt natural to begin with. In this instance, using in a handheld fashion feels natural right away, especially with just left clicking and right click. Now, one thing that I do wish was there from the get go was, oh, let me go ahead and click lock one, two over here. If we go to system 32. Now, one thing that Windows 10 has as a feature is right now we'll go over here. This is no longer the active window because I clicked over it here. So now if I were to go press down and up, this will scroll up and down. But if I mouse over here, but don't activate it so that this is still focused and this is not focused, that doesn't translate over. Windows 10 has a feature where if wherever you mouse, that will the scroll wheel will activate in that position. So now you always have to like kind of click in the area that you want to be able to mouse in that area or using the up and down arrow keys to scroll and then FN and page down to kind of go a lot. It doesn't feel as good as scrolling should be and there's gonna be some uh, additional software that's gonna be ne needed, either auto hotkey or some other th type of method to facilitate mouse wheel up and down. Um, ideally, there should have been a mouse scroll wheel and this is my own opinion. Um, not having a mouse scroll wheel here is a hindrance. I really wish that something was there. Now, having said that, I really, really like this sensor. I kind of wish that in a GPD Win situation, like a GPD Win 3, we no longer had a switch from mouse mode to X input. We just had this optical sensor as mouse and the X input always on. That would solve a lot of issues for a lot of people that always have to like switch over to X input before starting an application. Just because of how small this is and how well it works, I am a huge fan of it. Um, so yeah, this 11th hour change that GPD put in here is a winner. Um, I like the position of it. I like how it works. Um, the only thing that I really wish was that it had um, a scroll wheel. Um, that's it. Other than that, it works very, very well. Um, yeah, so that's my review of the optical sensor. Thank you very much for watching.